Hi, welcome back. Now in this session, I want to go over the appearance uh, option. Okay. Now the appearance allows you to change a and give your part a texture or a color. For a lot of us uh, designers, this is very useful. This way it keeps your parts separated. And some of the times when you're creating an assembly, okay, that means you you might be using the same part in a few different places. It's kind of nice to have them all co uh, color coordinated. This way you can tell, oh, okay, I have four of these that I need to order. I have three of these that I need to order. And you'll understand a little bit more about those when you get to the assembly section. But really, they're just appearance. So they're not going to be a lot of companies don't really care about appearance and it keeps everything in in this grayish color but you can still change an appearance if you like now one way you can change an appearance is by coming up here and click on editing appearance section and you'll get this uh, option that's also on the right side over here so there's a few ways to get to it you can actually click on this option right here and you'll get to the appearance uh, you'll also get the appearance options over here Okay, I'm going to exit this real quick and also I can click on a surface and I'll get the options right here. Now don't get this confused with the copy appearance which is a new feature and also over here there's an apply scene. The apply scene is actually just the background and you'll know what I'm talking about if I click on core chart background. Uh, it'll give you like a nice background that you can work around with. Now it can it can get a little messy sometimes and it, you may miss um, you know a little feature here and there. Uh, while you're designing if you have a, a background like this, but this is just for your own entertainment Really just a nice background so you can work at uh, work on it I'm gonna click on plain white and Go over here and then click on a surface for example now say I just want a surface to be surface to be colored or a face to be colored rather than my entire part Okay, I can click on my face and then I can come over here to appearance and there's a drop-down arrow if I click the drop down arrow, you're going to get a little tree like feature. So, for example, if you want a body to change color, you can click on the body for exercise one. This is this is your part. So for the entire part to turn a certain color, you can come over here and click on this button right here. If you want the body to turn a certain color, you can click over here and then extrude boss. This is for a feature. OK, so if you want a feature to turn it to a certain color, you can click over here as well and if you just want the face you can click on face over here and then this brings up the options again over here now there's two options that you can select from there's a solid color and there's a texture a texture kind of gives like a texture look to the um to the face that you've selected or you can also come down here under appearance and you can actually select a texture based on if you want a part to look more plastic or metal or paint it for example and you can expand that and you can uh, click on car for example you'll get more um, you know of a feel and look of a car that is being painted a certain color okay now I'm gonna expand ba that back out and go back and click on color because we're I'm just showing you how to do the color one for example uh, we'll play around with more of the texture maybe in the advanced section of SolidWorks now for the color say I just want the surface to be um, red okay so I just choose red over here and um, you know, and I, all I have to do is accept it by coming over here and clicking OK, and it will get accepted. There's also advanced options, okay. And we'll get to the surface finish and illumination a little bit more later. But for the surface finish, you can actually give it a certain uh, surface finish over here to give it a different look, and also different lighting onto the part to to, to get it different lighting. So, for example, if I turn this, you're going to see that there's a shadow. On the part so you can actually give it a little different appearance if you like I'm gonna go back to the basic and keep it in basic over here so I don't confuse you so there's a few th different ways you can uh, select a color that you can click on this button right here uh, and you can select a color for example if I want green and go back you can also click on how we want the color to be do you want it to be shiny do you want it to be transparent um, usually it's gonna be on standard okay you can also click this and select a different uh, uh, you know color uh, you know over here there's also dull uh, dull shiny standard or transparent if you can download one or create another one and save it as your own you can actually do that as well uh, so you can have a certain set of options that you have customized yourself all right uh, this is another way to select a color real quick it gives you kind of like basic set of colors that you can select and uh, choose from over here you can also over here move your mouse around you can hold the left click button and move, move your mouse around to choose a certain color 
And also over here, you can set it up yourself. If you know the certain code of a certain color that you want to set up uh, in your own way, you can play around with these and move them around. Uh, there's so many options for the color options over here. Okay, there's also a display state. This display state, there's all display state and specify display state. And we'll go through uh, more of these options in the advanced section. You really don't need to know more on these. Usually uh, in the basic section, if you're just creating a part like this, you're not going to sit here and try to make it all look too fancy. You're really just going to come here and try to pick a color for it and that's it. And you can click on OK. All right. So another way you can do this is click on edit appearance over here. And this brings you this option. But if you notice, there's a select geometry option over here, which is different than before. Why? Because before we selected a surface and we wanted to change the color for that surface. Well, now it gives you the options to select a feature, a surface, whatever you want. For example, you can actually edit a feature. But in order to uh, select one of them and change it, you need to actually remove whatever is left in here. So removed, I removed everything, uh, all the features that I have. And for example, I selected on surface right now and say I want this surface to change uh, you know into a clear color but because I have exercise one part uh, in here I need to actually delete that so I can only focus on my face and color that face okay so now say I want to color more faces all I have to do is go around and click on every face that I want to select in color say I want green I can switch to green color you know and say okay and if I click on okay over here if I go back to my appearance and I want to select a different color um, make sure you select your part and delete it so you're not coloring your entire part select the color for example blue and now all you have to do is make sure that you have your uh, face selected and go over here and select and you can actually go over the yellow and color that as well or the top one for example inside the circle whatever faces you want to change color you can go ahead and change it so that's how you use the appearance option and the color option it's very self-explanatory uh, on how to use it um, but you want to be careful and to what you're doing so sometimes if you color a surface you should know what you're doing so you should uh, know that you've come you can come over here and click this down arrow and you can either color you know by doing the exercise one you're coloring the entire body by doing the boss extrude feature you're only doing the extrude feature coloring the extruded feature that you've done okay so you can color just the features that you've created over here for example one two three there's four features over here that you can actually uh, focus on and color or you can color a face right here by clicking that you can also click on x over here to remove any color from any face as well so this is a preview of how to use the color appearance options and uh, we can go in more and more details of this only in the advanced dvd so if you want to learn more about it and how to set up uh, a nice uh, more realistic look um, using the colors and the textures uh, you purchase our advanced dvd and we can actually go through this in more and more details